Hey everybody, Mike Hagan here. I'm in Arusha, Tanzania, and we're getting ready to depart on our safari all throughout the national parks in Tanzania. We're going to the Serengeti, Ngorogoro Crater, Tarangiri National Park. We're also going to Arusha National Park and Lake Manyara National Park. So lots of national parks, lots of lions, leopards, cheetahs, and all the other animals that we're gonna see on this trip. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to go through each of the cameras that I'm bringing, tell you about the bags that I'm using, the bag that I use on this trip, and then give you some rationale about why I bring this gear on Safari. So first of all, I'm using the Gura Gear product. Now the Gura Gear, their company has been, um, actually they acquired Tamrac. So Gura Gear, you can't buy this bag anymore, but there's new iterations of that through uh, Tamrac. I've loved the Gura Gear bags. I've used them for years here in Safari. And the reason why I like them is because they're specifically designed to shoot out of a vehicle. Uh, basically, you open up these, these panels here and then you can work out of the different sides of the bag. It's a really great product. So on this trip, I am taking uh, three cameras. I almost always go with three cameras on Safari. I'm a DSLR shooter, so I shoot all the Nikon DSLR cameras. Uh, my number one camera for this trip will be the Nikon uh, D850. So there's the D850. And I'm using the battery grip with the uh, Nikon D5 battery to give me lots of life. So D850. The next camera I have with me is the Nikon D500. I call this my little Ferrari. It's a great little camera, very high, fast frame, frame rate, and then of course uh, the autofocus on this is stellar. And then my third camera is the Nikon D750, and it's a 24 megapixel camera. It's a few years old now, but I still like it, and it gets a seat with me on this trip. It's a durable system. It shoots video, shoots 24 megapixel stills. Great camera as well. So those are my three camera bodies. Let's go through the lenses that I'm bringing. On this trip, I've decided to travel lighter than usual. Um, I've normally traveled with a, a larger, you know, like a Nikon 200 to 400 or some other kind of exotic prime. Uh, this trip, I am risking it with just the 200 to 500 millimeter lens. I've shot with this now for about a year and have come to rely on it. Uh, I will say that it isn't as uh, sharp or as fast focusing as the big primes, but what, what you lose in autofocus speed and a little bit of sharpness, you actually gain uh, with a, a bit of reach, a lot of versatility, you know, it can go from 200 to 500 just by that. And then of course, weight, it weighs a lot less uh, than my larger lenses. So next up, I've got my 70 to 200 F2.8. Uh, I've owned all, pretty much all the Nikon 70 to 200 F2.8 versions. This trip, I am bringing a uh, Tamron 70 to 200 F2.8. It's a great little lens. It's about half the cost of the Nikon F2.8. And I've been shooting with this one for about a year as well. Really like it, doing a great job. Next lens I bring on all my trips is the 24 to 70 f2.8. I like the f2.8 lenses just because of the uh, optical quality and the focus speed. And this tr this lens has been around with me, oh man, I've been using this lens for 10 years or more. Fantastic lens. Next one, you can't go on a safari without a super wide. Uh, I love the landscapes in Tanzania and this lens hel helps me capture those beautiful landscapes. So this is the Nikon 14 to 24 millimeter f2.8. I'll be using that quite extensively. Next up, I have a flash. I always bring a Nikon SB something or other flash, and so this is a Nikon SB 5000, and I've got all of the, I've got the diffusion dome with it, and I also have a better beamer, which is a, a Fresnel lens to help me focus the light. I've got some extension tubes, because I love doing macro photography on these trips. There's lots of neat, interesting things to do in, with, uh, uh, with macro and bugs and flowers. So rather than bringing my 105 millimeter uh, macro lens, which weighs you know another pound or so, I use these, which are very lightweight and allow me to convert basically any of my other lenses to macro. Chargers, so I've got my uh, Nikon, basically the D5 battery chargers. Those are for my vertical grip. I've got the, the Nikon uh, D, you know, the regular um, ENEL 15s. This is the charger for those. Up here in this zipper, I bring along my extend or my uh, cable releases. So I use that quite a bit. Uh, I use that for star trail photography and I've got a standard cable release as well as the wireless cable releases. Gaff tape is my next. Don't go anywhere without gaff tape. Uh, you know, tape up shoes, tape up cameras, you name it. Gaff tape comes in handy all the time. Over here, I've got my card wallet. So this is a, a think tank card wallet and then I've got a camera strap. To, on this trip I use both the 
black rapid and I use the peak design uh, system. Over on this side I have the Nikon 10 to 20 millimeter. Uh, this is a this is a great little DX lens. I'll use this for my D500 if I want to use my D500 for vlogging or video work. I throw this on the front and it's great. You can hold it at arm's length and you get some uh, nice video content off of this lens. And then I also have a microphone. This is my Rode mic. So that's uh, it mounts in the hot shoe of my camera for doing ambient sound photography or videography when we're out on safari. And then over here I've got a few things like a, you know I've got a lens wipe uh, tool, basically to t a lens brush and a lens pen. This helps me clean off the, the the lens elements. I also brought along a full sensor cleaning kit that's inside over there. In addition, I also bring three bean bags. Now my bean bags are with my safari company right now. They're filling them up with beans and uh, I use a company called Safari Sack and Safari Sack bean bags I found to be the best ones overall for these types of trips. And I also bring a tripod. It's a Gitzo carbon fiber tripod. Uh, you're not going to use that from the safari vehicle itself typically but rather I use that in the evenings, uh, in the mornings when we're at camp. I also use it maybe for some hippo pools. Sometimes you can get out of the hippo pool, put your long lens there on the tripod. Uh, in addition to this, this stuff here, I also have my iPhone and a whole video filmmaker kit type of thing for my iPhone uh, because I do a lot of my videos on my iPhone itself. I have found it to be a fantastic uh, content creation tool. So I encourage you to always bring your iPhones and your Androids on these trips. Um, bring a little microphone for it too so you can do like what I'm doing here is you can speak to it. You can also catch great ambient sound. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day.